Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and go through the process of downloading Optifine and installing it. We're gonna go ahead and show a before and after showcase of loading Optifine with some shaders. So if you guys are interested, definitely continue watching this video. If you guys are brand new here to the channel, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it great. Hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. We go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 p.m. Pacific time here on the channel as well, where we play some Minecraft and you guys can comment, say hello. And we're going to go ahead and kick it off. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here I've loaded into a 1.18 world without any modded, you know, any no Optifine. There's no shaders. There's no resource packs loaded in. And this is just Minecraft as it is in its glory. We have the water, the sand, the dirt, grass, the trees, the leaves, and the sky all around us. So this is what it looks like at the moment with no Optifine. Optifine gives you options to shaders, additional performance enhancements and such for your Minecraft experience. So in order to download Optifine, let's go ahead and log out of here and head over to the website. It is going to be down in the description below this video and also in the pinned comment down below. Head over to optifine.net forward slash download. So again, this will be down in the description or in the comment section pinned down there. And you're going to go ahead and check out Minecraft 1.18. Depending on when you check this out, you probably will have a different version. You can see that they pump them out very quickly here. This is just November 30th. Here we are on December 1st. And there we go. We got a couple of releases really quickly. Now here at this website, you're going to go ahead and select mirror. Then you're going to go and check out the Optifine 1.18 HD version, select download. And it's going to ask you, where do you want to download this? Then you select download and it's going to ask you, where do you want to download? Well, I'm going to put it into my Optifine folder and select save like so. Now it's going to go ahead and save it to the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to finish downloading. You can see it down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click show in the folder and there it is. Now at this point, make sure that your Minecraft, you know, your, this thing is closed right here. So go ahead and close out of your launcher and then go ahead and launch the Optifine 1.18. Depending on the release there, it'll just kind of give your number and just hit install. So go ahead and just click it once, wait about five to 10 seconds, and you'll get the little notification that says Optifine is successfully installed. You can go ahead and hit OK. Now at this time, you're gonna go ahead and launch your launcher. Let's go ahead and bring it up right here. Now, as your launcher is loading up, you may still see the latest release available down there on the bottom left. Go ahead and select the arrow. And there we have it. We are now Optifine. Now at this point, we can select play and begin loading up Optifine as it is. Now, if this option isn't available right there, go ahead into your installations, go into selecting new installation. You can type in here Optifine 1.18, and this is going to be our test, right? I'm just going to go ahead and do this for an example right here. Go into your version, use the drop down, select that latest version that you just downloaded as we just downloaded four and then go ahead and give it a cool little fancy icon. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the enchanting table and select create. So there we are, the Optifine 1.18 test. If we go back to our play, we should now have this option available right here. So just in case we didn't have this installed in there when we loaded it ourselves, here we just created a installation for ourselves that loads it up just the same and then you can select play at this time now let's go ahead and cover the differences here between the unmodded the original 1.18 and the modded optifine 1.18 options so in here if we go into the options everything starts off basically as the same now where it changes here is into the skin customizations, you have an additional option here. If you do pay for the Optifine, it's a one-time charge, you have the option of selecting and using Optifine Cape. You can kind of make your own capes there. It's pretty interesting. Anybody that has Optifine, which is you know 90% of the population out there, uses Optifine, can see your cape and how you designed it yourself. Then you have the video settings. This is the main one right here that people use and you know use 
Optifine 4. Now the main highlights here is dynamic lights. This is, can be adjusted where it cannot be adjusted over on the left hand side. Shaders is also a different big one here. You know that's one of the main reasons I use Optifine for the performance and shader option right here. Then you have the details. This is sort of a new, new little option here. You can kind of adjust different details that can enhance your performance here in the Minecraft. That way stuff isn't loading as often. The sky's not on, the sun and the moon, you know, all these little things can be adjusted on or off and kind of help boost the performance of your Minecraft experience. On the right hand side, you also have animations or on the bottom left hand side, you have animations here that you can adjust for different, you know, water animations, fire, lava, fireworks, and so on. And on the right hand side, you have the performance issues. This can do a big change and a lot of the you know if you're using a computer with 8 gigs 16 gigs of ram and you're trying to play minecraft you know that could run pretty smooth you may not be able to have the chunks up very large you may just run at like four chunks but by adjusting the performance settings within here that can help help smooth out the performance and not make it as bumpy and then you have the other options and this kind of includes some of the lagometer the frames per second the weather can be on or off and some additional features there as well. Now, a couple other options that Optifine allows you to have is in the chat settings. On the bottom here, you have the chat background, so you can go ahead and select it on or off. So this just kind of keeps it on indefinitely. It just kind of like in the, in the bottom there, very compact or just kind of defaulted the way it is. A lot of players I don't see just having chat active 24 times, you know, 24 seven as they're playing. And then you have the chat shadows. This is currently, by default, I believe it's off. I was just kind of selected it on there. I was like, ah, that's interesting, chat shadows. Uh, but that, that's generally what Optifine allows you to have. So let's go ahead and load into the same world here. I'm gonna go ahead and load in the uh, new world right here. And over on this side, we're gonna go ahead and select a new world and go ahead and type in there. So we're gonna have two versions of Minecraft run here side by side. And we're basically going to see the performance here difference between these two. Uh, this is running without any shaders. We can kind of see the world around us. But there we go. We have Optifine loaded up here on the right hand side. We can see some big differences here in the water. We can see big differences within the sky. So just doing a quick, I don't see any trees over here. There's a tree over there. Uh, but we also see the grass. Depending on the shaders and the resource packs that you do use, you can see that there's a little bit of movement there with the grass. So that is pretty nice as well. So these are just different options that shader packs allow you to have. And that's one of the main reasons a lot of players use Optifine is just having, you know, a big difference in the water. So look at the water right here versus over here in, in the sky. So uh, that's pretty much it as far as the installation of Optifine. I can make a dedicated video going over the top five or ten shaders that I prefer. I do have a number of shaders that I just, you know, I have them in the back end, but I just don't use them as often just because I really like the two that I use more often. So here, check out the detail here. The reflection on the water, the rivets on the water. It adds a lot more detail. This one right here, let's go ahead and check this out. As I expand this out, we have a gigantic world over there. We have the sun located behind us. Looks like the sun's gonna be going down. Well, yeah, we should be going good. I'd like to, to make it kind of nighttime. That would be kind of cool to showcase. Underneath the water and all the funness of what that offers. So sometimes some of the shaders, they don't let you see through the water very nice or see above the water too nicely, like it reflects really hard. I like that this one, you can kind of see how it dims the sunlight there. And also there's no issue when you're kind of looking through the water. Uh, that's why I really like these two shader packs. But uh, we've gone through the process here of installing Optifine. If you guys have any other questions for me, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna make a separate video going over my five to 10 top shaders to use here. And then if you guys have your own options as well, definitely let me know there in the comment section below this video. I'd be really interested to check out other shaders, see what everybody else is using or you know enjoying. And then also resource packs. What are your favorite resource packs? I'd like to make a couple videos going over, you know, different resource packs to check out and shaders. So this one isn't as bright, which I really enjoy.
And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And we'll be back here at 10 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday live Minecraft. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.